And I'm Fred Shropshire. We begin with a where's the money warning for you. A North Carolina man says his entire bank account was drained by scammers and it could have easily been prevented. Attorney General Josh Stein announcing new plans to crack down on these scam calls that could be targeting your phone. Our Savannah Levins explains. Michael Mars thought he knew better. They said that that was Social Security Administration. So when he got a strange call telling him there was a warrant out for his arrest connected to a drug ring in Texas, he figured it was fake. They was telling me that I had to have that money to keep from having the officers come out and arrest me. But then his confidence wavered. He said, I'm going to call your local police department. I'm going to have an officer from there to call you. To, to tell you that this is legit. It wasn't five minutes later. It showed on my caller ID, Moxville Police Department. It wasn't really Moxville PD. The number was spoofed, but it was enough to convince Mars. I was scared. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't want to go to prison for something I hadn't done. He followed the scammer's instructions, buying 14 $500 gift cards at two local Walmarts. $7,000 in total, every cent he had gone before he realized he'd been duped. When that happened, I didn't even have the money to pay my bills, to eat, to do nothing. I mean, it, it completely wiped me out. When he went back to Walmart to tell a manager what happened. She told me, said, this should have never happened. She said anything over $500 is supposed to be questioned. Attorney General Josh Stein says this kind of story is exactly why he's now pushing for mandatory scam awareness training for retailers. Reaching out to the retailers so that they train their clerks in how to spot this. Most of these companies, they want to protect their customers, too. It's just important that we educate them about the role they're playing in the defrauding of them. In a statement, Walmart said they take fraud seriously and do train their employees to spot it. But it's not just gift card schemes claiming victims. Attorney General Stein says his office is also seeing a growing number of scams targeting Medicare recipients. Calls from companies that look legit peddling unnecessary medical supplies and using up the victim's benefits. The common thread again and again, spoofed numbers. That's why Stein says he's in the midst of a multi-state effort to combat phone call spoofing, so caller ID won't fool you. When that gets fully implemented, which we hope it will this year, we should see a dramatic decline in the number of spoofed phone calls. An encouraging step forward, but too little, too late for too many, like Mars. I get sick every time I go to the bank or anywhere else. Like I said, I'm still struggling to pay my bills. Savannah Levins, WCNC Charlotte. Wow. And if you find yourself asking where's the money, reach out to us. Email your issue to money at WCNC.com and we'll do our best to get you help.